What's going on YouTube? How you guys doing? It is Lieutenant Sound Blue, 28 year law enforcement veteran and the author of the top 25 mistakes and route to the good life. Coming at you with my daily podcast. Now, this podcast is already on the underway because as I was driving home from work, I started thinking about some things that I wanted to talk about when it came to what gets you going, what gets you excited, and how you determine your commitment to a project, to a person, to your goals, to things. So um, that was on my mind. I needed to get that out um, quickly uh, before I, I lost it. You know, sometimes when I'm commuting to work and uh, I'm listening to other podcasts or, or other things, or even music, man. I am inspired to talk to you guys about things that get me excited. And commitment gets me excited, man. Being committed to something uh, gets me excited. So in the earlier podcast, I was talking about my wife telling me that I was a very intense individual when it came to working out and training. And so um, as I thought back, as I do when my wife tells me a, a critique, I try to learn from it. Um, and then I thought to myself that uh, that is the type of person that I want to work with. I want to work with somebody who is like me. Somebody who is committed to something. Somebody who is serious about something. Not somebody who is wishy-washy about things, but somebody who is committed to their goals. Somebody who is serious about achieving the things they want to achieve in life. And so, if I can't work with that type of person, then my intensity usually chases away other people. So, um, and that goes for everything that I do, man. It goes for, um, for, for physical fitness and working out and training people. It goes to what I'm doing now, which is coaching and teaching and mentoring people. Um, just like in my workout training days, if you are not intense enough for me, if you are not serious enough for me about what you're trying to do and what you're trying to achieve, then you're probably going to fall into the realm of, I need to avoid this guy because this guy really, really holds me to the fire when it comes to achieving goals, when it comes to moving forward, when it comes to accomplishments, right? And so that is where I'm at mentally, guys. I feel like time is always wasting. And every time that you are doing menial nonsense stuff, that you waste an invaluable asset, which is your time. And so, if I'm mentoring or coaching somebody, my time is extremely valuable, and I don't have time to deal with anybody that's not committed. So, um, that is what I was talking about today, and I was very, very intent on it, and very, very serious about it, and I would not have come unless my wife didn't speak on it so that I could reflect on it so um, a lot of times the people around you they may say something as a critique or or to put you down or whatever it is and I'm not saying my wife is doing e e one or the other she's just talking to me but um, as they say that right sometimes you have to go deeper go deeper and learn what people are talking about and begin to reevaluate yourself and your actions. So, um, out of that came the type of person and type of clients that I like to deal with, which is as committed ones, ones that are serious, you know. And so, hopefully, because I'm this way, um, I'll get mentors and people that are coach and teach me that only deal with people that are serious and people that are committed and help me to up my level. An even higher level because that's the type of people I need to be around with that's the circle of influence that I always want to be around with. people that don't just talk about it but people that are intense and uh, and and get at it guys so um, I'm going to get this podcast started the second half and the second half is a little different the second half is a little different so uh, let's go and let's cue the music What's up, gang? How you guys doing? Welcome to the second half of this podcast. I am Lieutenant Sound Blue, once again, 20-year law enforcement veteran and the author of the Top 25 Mistakes in Round to the Good Life. Coming at you guys on Spotify. And, um, and the second half, 
of this podcast is going to be uh, I'm just shifting gears just a little bit and and my thing is I was talking about commitment right earlier in um, in an earlier episode and I want you guys to answer this question for yourself and, and I wrote this question down in my notes as I was uh, thinking and contemplating today's podcast and that is what does a life fulfilled mean to you and I feel it that is different for every person obviously right having a fulfilled life is different for 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 different people for a variety of reasons right some people at different stages of their life um, you know in the, my younger years maybe a life fulfilled for me was uh, having a lot of things right you know nice car nice house you know um, traveling and doing tons of things and so maybe that was a life fulfilled for me in my 20s right and so I worked hard for that and I worked to achieve that and soon I found out you know uh, by the time I achieved it I was in my mid 30s and that wasn't the same thing that helped me to have a fulfilled life so during that passage that time passage of time my priorities changed and because my priorities changed what the meaning of a fulfilled life for me was different in my 30s than it was in my 20s right so there I go and, and not understanding that um, I re-geared my life to uh, have some different things that I felt were a fulfilled life, right? And and those things were uh, just just being a solid individual at work and and making achievements at work and moving up the ladder at work to create um, an atmosphere where I was make I was the boss and I was making decisions and and so by the time I achieved that, right, I was in my mid forties. And when I got to my mid-40s and I reached that goal, I soon realized that that was not what a fulfilled life was for me. It wasn't the achievements at work. It wasn't that. And, and so if it wasn't money and fast cars, right, and if it wasn't achievements at work and notoriety, right, at work or fame in my circle of influence, as I like to call it, then what is it? So... Um, I began to revamp my life to see what was fulfilling to me and as I am into my 50s what I soon realized was that it changes it changes at a rapid rate and what is fulfilling to you in your life has to be flexible guys it has to be flexible your life needs to be as flexible as possible when it comes to achieving what you want out of life that is what it needs to be. Your life needs to have some flexibility in it. You have your goals and your main goals and things that you want, right? There are things that you want, things you desire. I'm now in my 50s. Most of the things that I want are, are to give value uh, to as many people as possible through my business, through my books, through my courses, my audios, um, and coaching, teaching, speaking. I want to give as much value as possible to people. And so that is what I want and the second thing that helps me be fulfilled is to make sure that my family is okay right that my family is taken care of and that my family is comfortable and we can travel as a unit as a family and enjoy life and enjoy things and the world and and not come home to the worry of bills and how we're gonna pay this and how we're going to pay that so that is like my second priority um, you know, my family is my top priority, but uh, I want to give value. And so my family just happened to be included in that value and then branched off to also doing things that we all can enjoy as a family and, as, and, and in our lives. So um, that may change in my 60s or 70s, right? That may change. But I think that the 